Hey, hey, y'all. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is Monday. Welcome to The Daily Drive. We're going to get into some motivation because that is what we chat about on Mondays. I love the idea of uh, Motivation Monday, Freedom Friday. I just love that idea. I don't know why. It makes my brain happy. I'm a little bit OCD, uh, so it makes my brain happy to have those uh, things that like go together like that. Motivation Monday, Freedom Friday, whatever. We talk about gratitude on Wednesday, so that doesn't really go together. But anyway, we had um, my friend over this weekend. Shout out to my friend Tyler, um, who fixed all of our like electrical stuff. And so everything in my office got moved around. So y'all know my OCD about this uh, ring light stand. <laughs> Gotta get it fixed right, but that's okay. It gives you a minute to join me here. Uh, so say hey when you get on. Uh, happy Monday, Motivation Monday. We're gonna get into some motivation. I have my glasses on for this one and probably Wednesday because I'm getting LASIK on Thursday and fixing my eyes. So I'm just kind of embracing the glasses for the last week. So I can actually read my notes over there and I can read your comments when you read when you leave comments. So say hey when you jump on. And uh, I just want to give a quick shout out to like the lurkers that are on here. I appreciate y'all watching even though you don't always say anything. Uh, so hey to the lurkers. Anyway, so I'm going to have my glasses on today and Wednesday. I don't know how Friday and next Monday are going to go. The procedure for my eyes is on Thursday, so I don't know how my eyes are going to be on Friday morning and Monday morning. So I'm just going to kind of play that by ear. Might be a little bit different. Um, I might just make a post or something. I'm not sure yet. So just hang with me, uh, you know, until I get back to normal. I've never had LASIK. I don't know how long Obviously, I've never had LASIK. I don't know how long it takes you to recover, but I've heard good things. So hopefully I'll be back to normal Monday, but just a little disclaimer. I don't know what Friday and next Monday are going to look like. So we'll be in glasses today and Wednesday. And then after that, when you see me, I won't have to wear glasses anymore, but I'll still be able to read. Uh, so anyway, we're going to get into Motivation Monday because that's why we're all here, right? We want a little bit of motivation to start off our Monday and I want to explain to you good morning Jordan I love it when I see your name come up uh, I want to explain to you and you guys if you watch the replay of this that's awesome too give me a hashtag replay say hey let me know that you're watching the replay I love you guys that watch live and I also love you guys that watch the replay it's just about getting the information so if you're here live say hey if you're watching the replay say hey I'm watching the replay I love it either way so we're gonna talk about motivation because it's motivation Monday and we haven't gotten to the daily drive the last few times to do that together and I really want to do that um, just in case I am not able to come talk to you on, on Friday and Monday uh, so what I want to talk to you today about motivation is actually it's gonna sound weird so y'all hang on with me okay but it is actually building motivation, building up your internal motivation, building up those inspirational and creative juices, uh, letting things, I don't know, I guess marinate, let your brain taking a rest, but building up motivation by resting. And I don't just mean by like taking a nap here and there, okay? I mean fully taking a long rest, okay? I call it taking a Sabbath, um, you know, taking a day off, whatever it is, okay? Taking a long rest. The purpose of it is that it's, it's longer than what your like normal routine is, right? Or I can't, I can't stand the, the circle in my glasses right now. So I'll put these back on when I need to read my notes again. But the purpose of this is that it's a longer rest than what is in your normal routine, right? So I kind of take naps a lot, right? My husband and I joke about it a lot. He gives me a hard time. Like I can fall asleep like that. Like it takes him a minute to fall asleep. Like I, I'm the nap queen. Okay. We like literally my family jokes about it. My friends joke about it. Like I 
can take naps, okay? When I went to Cambodia a few years ago, like, I full-on sprawled out in the middle of the Hong Kong airport to, like, take a nap <laughs> in the middle of the floor. Like, I am the nap queen, okay? And so I don't mean just, you know, taking your, your, your little rest, right? Like, maybe you get to actually take a shower while your kid's taking a nap, or you get to, um reheat your coffee for the sixth time and actually drink it while your kid's taking a nap. I don't mean that, right? Like those are the nice little moments to enjoy throughout the day. But what I mean is a long period of rest, a long period where you are not thinking about what you have to do. You're not thinking about, you know, things you have to clean. You're not, you're just not thinking about the things that weigh you down. Okay. And so when we get to the weekend, uh, we, my husband works full time. Um, and a lot of the time he works out of town. And so he gets up and leaves pretty early in the morning. And that's kind of turned into like my, like, you know, me time. I'm watching my murder documentaries and, um, I'm having my coffee. Um, and I want to, if you guys have Netflix, watch The Staircase. Or if you've already watched The Staircase, I want to know because this one is driving me nuts. Okay, and if you're from North Carolina or Virginia or South Carolina, like this area, you might remember hearing about <coughs> Michael Peterson who um, supposedly pushed his wife down the stairs whatever. So, um, I've been watching that and it's driving me nuts. I don't know if he did it or not, but I think that there was way too much circumstantial evidence in that case. But anyway, watch the staircase and let me know what you think. So that's what I'm watching right now during like my morning me time. And then if it's Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I come and talk to you guys. I do my personal development a little bit and then come talk to y'all. If it's Tuesday, Thursday, I don't know. Maybe I'm going to work. Maybe I'm going to the gym. Um, I don't really have a schedule these days, which I love. And so I don't mean like your little pockets of me time that you fit in, okay? I, I really mean a full rest. So when we get to Friday, okay, my husband and I try to spend, we're changing our words, we're not saying try. My husband and I are working on spending more time together in the evenings when he gets off work. Uh, we got our bikes fixed, thanks to my mom. We got our kayaks um, out of storage and we're, we're working on just getting active more, getting outside. And so when it starts to get to Friday, I start to get excited about the thought that I'm going to have some time to just like relax, tune out, turn, turn social media off, whatever. Okay. And so Friday night, you know, we do whatever we're doing Saturday, we do whatever we're doing. And then Sunday I wake up on Sunday with the intentional knowledge, the intentional thinking, uh, the, the intentionality. I wake up with purpose to spend less time on social media, to uh, be aware and conscious when I find myself aimlessly scrolling, right? Because we all know that we're sitting on the couch and it's two o'clock in the afternoon and then all of a sudden it's 3.30 and we've just been looking at memes and crap for an hour and a half. Like who feels me, right? And so on Sunday, I wake up with intent and purpose and, and knowledge knowing that I'm going to redirect things when they pop up. I am going to know that when I realize that I'm just sitting here scrolling or, or tell me if you get this too, if you're married or, you know, have a partner, have a spouse, whatever. Uh, and you get the like sigh or the like, uh, looking over your shoulder, like head on the shoulder kind of thing. Like when you're looking at your phone, like you get the, the signal that like, Hey, you're on your phone, right? So I wake up knowing that when I get those little signals or that when I know that my brain is getting overworked, I'm intentionally taking a break from those things. So Sundays are my full day of rest, of Sabbath, of tuning things out. Now, I don't mean that you literally like shut your whole life down for an entire day. I mean that you just wake up, you go throughout the day intentionally knowing that you're going to rest a little bit from the things that make 
your mind overwhelmed, right? So I still um, have alarms set in my phone, for example, so that I can post a reminder in my Becoming Unlimited Facebook group on Sunday nights that, hey, the daily drive will be back Monday morning, right? I have an alarm set for that so that I can quickly go in and do that real quick and then put my phone down again, right? There's still things that I want to make sure that I am doing, and so I do them, but I'm also intentionally taking that break. I am intentionally taking that time back, that time away. Uh, if you work through social media, if you do things on social media a lot, again, I uh, like to call myself a mindset coach and a mindset influencer, and so a lot of what I do is on social media. It's on the phone. It's scrolling through things like it's it's on the phone, right? It's a lot of what I do. And so on Sundays, I just make sure that I am intentionally taking that time back for myself, for my family. And again, this doesn't mean that like I shut everything out, shut everything down, right? We still went to the grocery store yesterday. We still had my friend over to uh, do the electrical stuff. We still um, did some cleaning around the house. Like we still did those things, but I wasn't on my phone. We made sure that we listened to music that we like while we were doing those things. We made sure that we had an easy dinner to prepare so that we could, you know, not take a lot of time out of spending time together, right? We just make sure that we're intentionally taking a step back. And that also comes with reminding each other. So if I feel like I've been off my phone for two hours and my husband is still sitting there scrolling, I'm going to let him know, right? And he's going to do the same thing for me because we're holding each other accountable to that intentional time that we want to spend together. Now, everybody that has anxiety, we all know, okay, that we can't control how someone is going to say something to us, right? So it might make me mad when my husband's telling me, can you get off your phone, right? But really, I know that it's because he's holding me accountable, right? Let me know if you feel me. Anyway, so get to the motivation. You're intentionally taking that time back to yourself. You're intentionally redirecting. You are intentionally... Um, Oh gosh, I don't want to, I'm, I'm trying to think of the right word. You are intentionally putting that time back into yourself. So this means that you need to be intentional throughout the week, right? So that you're not like putting things off, right? Or you let go of expectations and understand that Monday's coming or maybe, um, you know, Thursday is your Monday. And so Wednesday night, you get stuff together. You take a break, whatever, you know, the Sunday just happens to be that day for us, right? So insert whatever day works for you. Uh, but you know that you're getting all of these things done and you get to intentionally pour this time into yourself throughout the week so that you can continue to intentionally give to yourself and your family on whatever day you need to take a rest, right? So let me put my glasses on and make sure I'm on track with my notes. This is the last week I got to say, let me put my glasses on, right? So we're building that motivation by taking a long rest, by doing things with our family, fun things, uh, things that we love. Like I said, my husband and I made sure that we listen to music that we like on the weekends. We might go for a drive. We might go for a bike ride. Like we're not just blobs on the couch all weekend, right? We're just intentionally doing things to fill, refill our cup for an entire day, right? And what does this do? It allows your mind to get those creative juices going again. It allows your mind to get inspired again. It allows you to take that time to yourself so that you can pour it back into everything else around you. When I take intentional time off, from even my passions, y'all, even uh, I feel like my purpose in life is to help people with anxiety and mental health issues understand that you can be in control of that. And so I even take time off on the Sabbath 
from really working on those types of things too because it is an intentional rest is a, it is an intentional giving back to yourself with purpose you shut your brain off from things that make you feel overwhelmed you um put things on the daily drive on your notes for tomorrow so that you don't have to think about them today but you allow yourself that time to get creative again, to get inspired again, to miss your work, to miss whatever it is you get up on, on Monday morning or whatever day, whatever it is you intentionally get up to do. It gives you that time to miss that. And so on Sundays, I feel myself having to jot down, or I find myself getting to jot down notes, getting to write on my notes for tomorrow in my journal, getting to open a note in my phone real quick and jot something down because I'm feeling creative. I'm feeling inspired. This is the time <coughs> where my brain, <coughs> dang it, <coughs> I didn't bring water today. This is the time where my brain starts to get creative again because I'm simply just not thinking about it and I can't explain to you whether you have allergies like clearly I do whether you um I don't even know like I can't explain to you what it feels like to just connect with the outdoors with nature with the sun with the wind right so get outside, do something outside, open your windows. Sometimes if we don't really want to go anywhere and we want to just veg on the couch, we just open the windows, right? To let that in. But the purpose is to allow that time for your mind to get back into it, to get creative again. And so I get up on Monday morning knowing that I've written down all of these things that I have a purpose to be excited to work on. I woke up this morning ready to come in here into the office and look at my notes from the weekend and uh, figure out what I get to create, right? It gives you that time to get excited again. If you're still following me, drop me a sunshine because we're still talking about Motivation Monday and we're bringing this all back to motivation. So give me a sunshine, hashtag Motivation Monday, hashtag replay if you're still watching me, right? It gives you that time to reset. So for Motivation Monday, we are building motivation by taking a complete day of rest, a complete chunk of time to turn ourselves off from stress. Thank you, Katie. We are giving ourselves a complete day to turn ourselves off from the things that stress us out. Thank you, Kim. Kimberly, I, st I still don't know. Let me know if you prefer Kimberly. I think I saw Kimmy at one point, um, <laughs> but thank you. Uh, you're taking a whole day, okay? to let your creative juices get flowing again. And I promise you, I've told y'all before, you can Google me, this is science in your brain, you are giving yourself that chemical time, it's chemical in your body to reset. If you, tell me if you've ever felt like this, let me know in the comments if you've ever felt like this. You wake up on Monday morning. Thank you, Kimmy. I thought I saw that before. Thank you for being here, Kimmy. And thank you for letting me know what you prefer. I love seeing y'all here and I want to make sure that I'm not offending you. Um, but let me know if you've ever felt this way, okay? You, you, you wake up on Monday morning and you're like, this week is going to be awesome. I'm going to crush everything. I'm going to write all my goals down on the daily drive every single day. Like this week is going to be the best week of my life. Like, oh, good morning, mama. Good morning. Thank you. Um, this week is going to be Mama K. This week is going to be the best week of my life, right? Monday morning is awesome. You get to Tuesday and you're like, all right, so I did most of what I wanted to cross off of my list uh, yesterday, but there's a few things still leaning, leaning, leaning lingering there's a few things still lingering uh i can still crush today it might be a little you know you get to wednesday and you're like 
hmm, I got maybe like two things crossed off my goal list yesterday. That's not great. I, I don't know what's going on with my energy. Maybe I need a break. Um, I'm going to skip this thing today and sit on the couch. You get to Thursday and you're like, I really didn't get anything done with, with this week. Tomorrow's Friday. I am going to give myself a break. I'm not going to beat myself up. I'm going to get back at it on Monday. You wake up on Friday and you're like, yeah, it's Friday. I'm ready for the weekend. We're going to do this thing on the weekend. Saturday, you do your weekend stuff. Sunday, you do your weekend stuff. You didn't get anything done really last week. And then you wake up the next Monday and you're like, yeah, I'm going to kick butt again. And the whole cycle starts all over, right? Whole cycle starts all over again. And you go through another week not getting anything done, right? Let me know if you've ever felt like that, okay? This is why the feelings of motivation have to be internal. You can have external things that motivate you. You can hang the bikini on the refrigerator. You can pay for the gym membership. You can uh, <coughs> write out a million dollar check with your name on it and hang it on the wall. You can do all of the things, but the motivation has to be internal. And that motivation stays internal by allowing the inspiration and the creativity to keep brewing, to keep creating, to keep coming, right? And if you're going through life every single day, stressing about the goals that you didn't cross off yesterday, instead of intentionally getting things done so that you know you deserve an entire day off on Saturday, Sunday, whatever day it is on Sunday for us, right? You have to break that cycle. I heard in personal development that a problem is only a problem if there's no solution. If there is a solution, it's just a block. So if you are telling yourself, I have a problem with waking up on Monday, I have a problem with going to the gym, I have a problem with eating right, I have a problem with caffeine, I have a problem with sugar, I have a problem with, I don't even know. If you're telling yourself, I have a problem with this, it's just a block. A problem is only a problem if there's no solution. If there is a solution, it's just a block. You don't have a problem with going to the gym. You just don't have the right motivation. You don't have a problem with finding a job you're happy in or creating it, creating an income based on your purpose. You just have a block. These things are possible. You just have to get your brain in the right space, right? And so we're creating motivation, hashtag motivation Monday, we're creating motivation by giving ourselves a full day of rest, okay? And let me give you one more disclaimer. I want to make sure that we do the daily drive together today because we have it for a few, few days. <clears throat> so let me give you one more disclaimer, okay? I fully had to ease myself into this concept, this idea, um, this understanding that I could take a full day off. I could take a full day of rest. I had to work myself up to this. When I first heard about this in uh, personal development or like teamwork or where, wherever I heard about it, I was like, uh, I, I was part of an MLM where they tell you that this is an MLM. You can work your business 24 seven. You can work it from your phone anytime you want to. And so I was already under the mindset that I didn't have to turn off business, right? And so I had to ease myself into this. I had to ease myself, or I got to ease myself into the understanding that it's okay. And like I said, there's still some things that I do. So when I first learned about needing to do this, uh, I would do things like schedule a time, right? Like it's Sunday, but I know that at seven o'clock after we've had dinner and before we go to bed, I'm going to put it an hour of work in, right? Or it's Sunday and it's coming up on our day off, but my team is doing a call. And so I'm just going to hop on that for a little bit 
and then take the rest of the day off, right? That doesn't count. <laughs> it doesn't count. And so I had to, got to ease myself into taking a full day off. So if that's something that you know is going to work better for you than just trying to wake up on Sunday and shutting everything off, ease yourself into it. Do what works best for you. But I promise you, you will find yourself on your rest day, on your Sabbath, feeling more creative and inspired than really you have all week. It really gives you the time to fill your cup. So these allergies are starting to set in. Uh, so you have to, or you get to work yourself into that. You get to take a full day of rest, understand that it is okay, and in fact necessary for your brain. So like I said, if you work and Wednesday is your Saturday and Thursday is going to be your day off, then you get to set the boundary around that. You get to put your phone on do not disturb for a few hours. You get to make lunch plans with the friend that you haven't seen in a long time and intentionally put your phone in your bag so that you're spending time together. You get to uh, call your mom and, and check in. You get to do the things that you love and fill your cup so that you come back on Friday ready to go, right? I make sure that on Sunday, I am intentionally spending less time on social media, on my phone, in my office, I was only in my office yesterday because my friend was here doing electrical work, right? Uh, less time thinking about the things that stress me out, writing those down on the daily drive, right? I do still do certain things. Like I said, I have an alarm set to make sure that I give you all a reminder about the daily drive coming back on Monday. Um, you know, I might respond to some comments here and there on Facebook because I don't uh, want to keep people waiting with things, right? But I still keep a boundary, right? Rather than responding to a couple comments and then scrolling through my phone for two hours, I respond to a couple comments and then put my phone down and, and watch a movie with my husband or, uh, you know, do something in the yard, whatever it is, right? So it's intentional. You are waking up on whatever your day of rest is with the intentional knowledge that you're going to spend less time on the things that stress you out. And don't tell me social media doesn't stress you out because you know it does. You know you look at people. You know it's like keeping up with the Joneses. You know social media stresses you out. So you are intentionally spending less time with the things that stress you out and more time with the things you love. Don't completely shut down your life. It's going to make me more anxious Monday morning to have 8,000 things to answer than just taking five minutes intentionally to do it on Sunday and then put my phone down, right? I know that my brain is like that. So do what works for you. Like I say, we are pro doing what works for you over here. Holla if you take medicine every day like I do. Um, but it's intentionally doing less of the things that stress you out and more of the things that love that you love. I was going to say that love you. I guess it goes interchangeably. Um, I hope biking loves me. Maybe it doesn't. I just got a nice um, cushiony cover for my seat. So I have a nice butt cushion for my bike. So when we're going on, on longer rides, I got a nice cushion. Uh, so anyway, it's intentionally doing, thank you, Katie, less of the things that stress you out and more of the things that you love taking an entire day to do that, right? I love naps, so naps are included in there too, right? It's not just the nap that you get to take while your kid's taking a nap, which really isn't even a nap, right? It's not just the 10-minute the shower that you get to take while uh, your kid's taking a nap. It's all about when your kid's taking a nap when you have kids, right? Like, it's not just those times. It is an intentional full day where you are doing less of the things that stress you out and more of the things that you love. And then you're building creativity. You're allowing your mind the time it needs to decompress 
and restart those creative juices, restart that inspiration. Like I said, I sit on the couch even while we're watching TV and stuff and I get to jot little notes down so that I remember it for the next day because my brain is just thinking about stuff. I'm going to a craft store today to get some stuff to work on because I'm just feeling inspired and creative because I'm taking the time away from the things that fill up my brain, right? I Like I said, you're gonna hear this a lot, my purpose in life is to help people with mental health issues understand that you can be in control of your life. And yes, that is my purpose and my passion, so it takes up a lot of space in my heart and my brain on a daily basis. And so on Sundays, I spend intentional time thinking about that less. And it allows my brain really to think about it more and in a new creative inspired way, right? So build motivation by taking an intentional day of rest, full day of rest. Do the things you know you get to continue to carve the time out for intentionally, but intentionally take a break so that the next day you come back motivated and inspired. I promise you it'll keep your motivation going on the inside. And so when I say intentionally, that'll bring us to the daily drive, right? Which I'm going to, now it's like a, a joke and a fun thing for me. I'm going to put my glasses on to do because I don't have to say that after Thursday. So now it's like fun. I'm going to put my glasses on to do the daily drive because that'll bring us to the daily drive with intentional thinking because that is why it's the first and really biggest section on the daily drive because it is so important. You can intentionally take control of your mind even while you have anxiety. So I still don't have this printed out. <laughs> I do it in a journal, in a notebook. Sometimes I do it in a note in my phone if I need to, but we're gonna do this together. And so when I say, whoops, I bumped it with my foot. When I say your intentional thought, what I mean is the thing that you can tell yourself, that you get to tell yourself, to flip all of those switches in your mind for you, right? And yeah, like Kimmy does better when it's printed out. And I love that. I'm going to get to printing it out because I just got a new printer. Um, and so I'm probably going to go through all the ink in like two days. <laughs> but um, your intentional thought is what you need to flip those switches. And yeah, actually thinking, speaking of this being printed out, my overall goal or hope for this is for it to be like one of those like tear off calendars where you can just have one, a new one of these every day and it's already there and you can put it on your desk and tear it off, fill it out, put it in your bag, whatever. So if you know how I can make that happen, side note, one of those tear off calendars, let me know. Um, Cause that's my, my hope for this. And I have some other worksheets. Y'all have seen my gratitude silos. I've got some other things that I would squeeze in there too. Um, and kind of make it like a whole mindset flip tear off calendar form. So anyway, my um, intentional thoughts or intentional statements are always in the format of I am committed to because it reminds my brain that I made that decision. Thank you, Katie. I'm going to remember that. That's a print. I didn't know you could do that there. Um, it reminds my brain that I made that decision, right? And so now I need to do whatever the next step is to uphold that decision, right? And so today, since we're talking about building motivation related to resting, I'm gonna make my intentional thought or my intentional statement related to staying intentional throughout the week so that I can take that time to rest when I get to the weekend, right? So my intentional thought for today is gonna be I am committed to, because I always write them that way. Again, it flips that switch in my mind. I am committed to acting with intent all day. And so those statements for me, I kind of leave them a little bit broad because it allows me to do what the next step is for me, right? So I am committed to acting with intent all day. That could mean 
that it's nap time and I need to intentionally take a nap and reset, right? That could mean that it's time to go to the gym and I'm intentionally taking this time for myself. That could mean that um, my house is stressing me out and I'm intentionally vacuuming. Actually, that's gonna be one of my goals today. I'm intentionally vacuuming to, to get that taken care of, right? So that can go different ways and it's up to me to know what direction to go in. It flips that switch and then I get to pick what's happening next. So I am committed to acting with intent all day. The next part of the daily drive is goals for the day. And these are tangible, achievable goals that we're gonna make sure we cross off today. We're gonna make sure that we have the time in our schedule to do them. We're gonna make sure that it fits into the energy that we're feeling today, right? This is not, ooh, I dropped my pen. This is not the time for your big, crazy overall goals. I have a goal board for that. I have uh, my planner that I write things down in. This is not the time for, for that big goal. This is the time to write down the goals that are going to get you to that, right? So some of my goals for today are going to be um, getting my office back you know, cleaned up. Like I said, we had the electrician here and so there's just kind of stuff everywhere. And so, you know, getting the office back to normal. I've got a couple errands to run. Um, I've, I've got some stuff that I need, that I get to do today and cross off so that when the weekend comes, we don't have to worry about it. And actually this weekend, uh, I don't know what I'm gonna be doing because I have my eye procedure on Thursday, right? So I'm gonna intentionally make sure that I'm getting things done this week, right? So that I'm not anxious on top of the anxiety that's already going to come with having a laser in my eyeball, right? So I'm making sure that the goals, again, are going to fit into my schedule for today, are going to uh, get me through the day, push me forward. If it's not something that I need to do today, I can write it for tomorrow, right? So just give yourself some goals. And then the last thing that we talk about is gratitude. Come back on Wednesday to hear the long spiel about gratitude, but it changes the chemical makeup of your brain. I always make sure that my gratitude statements are like my intentional thoughts in the format of I am grateful for because it takes 90 seconds at least to shift energy and emotion in your body. So you're giving yourself that full time. You're not just giving yourself a short little superficial list. You're giving yourself all of the gratitude time. So we'll, I'm just going to write one real quick um, because I'm rambling for a while and y'all can do some more later. But I always write, write I am grateful for life and breath because we know how precious that is and how easily it can be taken away. And then the last thing that's on the daily drive is just a section for notes for tomorrow. Again, because we don't need to cloud up our brain today with things that we can do tomorrow. Uh, and the gratitude section is also where I'll give myself any positive self-talk or affirmations that I might need. But y'all, it is all about intentionally feeling the motivation, intentionally creating that inspiration and that time. So hashtag motivation Monday, I'm gonna take my glasses off one last time. Hashtag motivation Monday, find motivation in taking a full day of rest. Let your brain take a rest from the things that stress you out, do the things that you love and allow your brain to brew that creativity and that inspiration. You will feel so good come your Monday morning or whatever your next day is when you are ready to get back to your creative side, right? So take that full day of rest, let your brain reset, refresh, get inspired and creative again, build that motivation up for the next day. If you're watching the replay, give me a hashtag replay. The Daily Drive is part of my Becoming Unlimited journey where I am unlimiting my thought processes and just sharing that with y'all, how I'm doing that while living with anxiety. So if you're not part of my Becoming Unlimited Facebook group and you would like to be, just let me know. I can add you, super easy. It's a free just community of support. In that group right now, I am giving away this Fitbit, gently used. I don't know what version and all of that it is, but... um. 
I loved it. <laughs> I just got an Apple Watch, and so I'm giving away the Fitbit to my top supporter. So if you want a Fitbit, join that group and then um, help us grow and interact. I finished up a three-day mindset reset a couple weeks ago, and you can watch those recordings. Just let me know. They're available on YouTube, but not public. So I can send it right to you. Make sure you turn on notifications for me and for Becoming Unlimited so you get informed when I go live and you don't miss any of the good information. And if you get anything out of this, let me know. Leave some reactions. Tag a friend. Leave a comment. I appreciate y'all so much. I love all of the love and support and everything. I love that y'all are here to grow for yourselves and that I am able to help you do that. So remember that if you're feeling like you're lacking your motivation on the inside, give yourself a full day of rest regularly, once a week, twice a week, if you can fit that into your schedule, like give yourself a full day of rest so that you can allow your creative juices <clears throat> to get back to flowing. I love y'all too, I see that. You guys always go in the joy jar. This is one way that I show gratitude regularly. My Facebook fam, my supporters, you always go in here. Again, if you want to be part of Becoming Unlimited, let me know. Give yourself a full day of rest so that you can get inspired and creative and feel motivation again on the inside. I love y'all so, so much. I will see you on Wednesday, but then hang out, hang in there with me for the next few days while I get my eyes fixed. All right. So I love y'all and I will see you soon.